salutations rusty ninjas this is going to be a short clip on ways in which you can trigger the old tesla coil what i've got set up here is an electrical branch with a 5 volt output and that is going to a memory cell so we're connecting the output of the branch which I'm going to just configure to 5 volts and the output of that is going to go to the power in on the memory cell that's going to do absolutely nothing until it's triggered the output of the memory cell which we've got four volts there um, because remember each electrical component consumes one electricity so if we wanted this to actually be five we'd have to increase the branch to six because the memory cell will take one so we should now have five to the Tesla coil which is going down here into our dummy loop room <coughs> to the Tesla coil so what we're going to use is we're going to use a little can hear it triggering so we're going to take the output of this pressure pad now in the recent update um, I think it was September or maybe uh, last month's update they made a slight change to these pressure pads which not a lot of people are aware of normally you'd apply power in and then wire up something to your power out and you would only get power out when you were actually stood on the pressure pad in a recent update they changed this for some strange reason and now pressure pads will actually give one volt when you stand on them they'll just output one volt all on their own so we're going to try and hide the wiring a little bit we'll go back down here um, let's put it on there so you can actually see it um, we're going to wire this into the toggle the memory cell so when you stand on the pressure pad it will turn the memory cell on when you stand on it again it will turn it off and because we're sneaky little ninjas <coughs> I'm going to cover it up with a rug apart from my shoddy wiring you can't actually tell there's a pressure pad in there so they take your door off your base they blow through come in see the loot room oh yeah and they're dead so that's one way not a bad little trick um, you could do it with and switches as well so that um, it's only on momentarily but that's an effective solution anyway um, I shall be back shortly when I've got some more demonstrations set up for you <laughs> 